already then. Welcome back to Universe X, and uh, it's been a day, but we've got some juicy, juicy news. I mean, secret rares are starting to get spoiled, and I'm gonna start going over that in my next video, I believe. I think this should be my next video. Um, but we have a lot of things that we can put up. We got the secret rares, we got the uh, revival booster packs. Um, we Today, we're gonna dive right into green. And then uh, also, at the same time, what we are going to do is um, talk about a giveaway done by Spiral Maui Graphics. And right now, you're actually able to get in there and win a requested metal leader. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to the Facebook description, or Facebook post in the description, and you guys can go follow that. Um, also, we will be collabing with them still. Just know that's in the works. We're just getting around to it. There's been a couple delays, but um, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, like always, think about hitting that subscribe button, that notification button. Think about going into the Discord and uh, just joining up with everybody, possibly getting on the Rogue series or just testing with us when uh, we all get together. Um, also, you got the Facebook group in the description and I implore you to go hit that up. So, jumping right into the green cards, man. First, we got the wall of tech that is turtless. <laughs> Um, we're gonna go straight into the green. I'm gonna do the Turles cards and the Lord Slug cards. Um, Turles, permanent. If a Turles Crusher core in your battle area will be placed in its owner's drop area by one of your skills, it is placed in the owner's um, warp instead. Cool. Auto. When you place this card into your leader area, place up to one tree of might card from your deck to your opponent's battle area. You know, always fun when you just start off with just cards that give you advantage and whatnot. Auto. When this card attacks, add up to one card from your life to your hand. Uh, look at the top five cards at the top of your, oh uh, yeah, look up to the top five cards um, from your deck. Add up to one Turtles Crusher core, card amongst it to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, so you're going to hopefully plus two, one from your life, one from the top of your deck. And then uh, when you're at four or less life, and your opponent, uh, or your opponent has three or more life face up, that's a huge part. You may draw one card, then switch up to one of your energy to active mode, then flip this card over. Okay, so... Just because of that, this guy should be able to awaken well before four in life. Um, but we're gonna get into the rest of the cards to see. Um, now going over to the next card on the list, we got a Turles Fiendish Force, his backside. Uh, he's still got the permanent that if a Crusher Core would be sent to the grave by one of your effects, it's gonna go to warp instead. Um, and then when this card deals damage, you choose which card your opponent loses from their life. That is crucial, especially when you start revealing them and you can choose, you know, not to give them a crucial card. That's pretty crazy. Um, auto, when this card attacks, draw one card. Cool. And then uh, activate main once per turn. Choose one card in your hand and place it at the bottom of your deck. Add one fruit of the tree of might from your drop area to your hand. So you'll be able to recur the fruits of the tree of might once uh, they are expended from your deck. So that's actually pretty neat. I actually think that's really cool. A built-in way to recur is stacked onto the leader. Um, next card, you've got Raditz, Invader from Afar. Um, Unison, activate main once per turn, flip up to one card in your opponent's life face up. Um, and then it's plus one, activate main, you may choose one card in your hand and discard it. If you do, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and discards it. Um, choose up to one of your cards and it gets critical for the turn. That's actually pretty neat. Um, you're gonna lose the amount of com or some combo power and then you're gonna give something critical. Um, minus five, activate main, your opponent chooses three cards in their hands and discards them. Uh, kind of hefty, um, minus for the ability, but you know what? It's kind of weird because your opponent chooses two. I don't really like that, um, and then also I would say it's a starter for Turles, but being a 3 cost, Turles is probably going to be doing better things on 3 cost than to play this card, so I'm not quite sure where this one's going to lay. Now we're going to go over into the Crusher Core, okay? Um, Amond, Invader of Earth. Uh, he's got Unique, as all of them do, I'm pretty sure. If your leader card is a Turles Crusher Core, and this card was used in a combo from your deck or hand. When this card would be uh, placed into its owner's drop area from a combo area, you may play it in rest mode instead. Cool. Um, activate main, and you've got a green. Send this card to the owner's warp. You may choose one of your opponent's um, battle cards, or then choose one of your opponent's battle cards that injury cost a five or more and KO it. You cannot play copy of this card for turn. So for one green, this guy can be on the field, and um, you can kill an opponent's Reaper. You can kill an opponent's Debro. It's actually a really, really solid card. You get Diaz, Invader of Earth. Um, when this card is comboed, you can play it instead of uh, just putting it in the drop zone like normal. Um, 
And then when uh, this card is played, look at to look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, add up to one Crusher Core amongst them, and then uh, shuffle your deck. So this guy's just gonna kind of extend pieces, put a body on board, search a card. Um, you got Cacao. He's just going to be a generic super combo, but he's also in Crusher Core, so this does give you another option of things to combo with on top of your deck. Let that be known. Um, and you got Raisin, Invader of Earth, unique and blocker. Uh, he will come to play if he is comboed from your deck. And then Auto, if your loaded card is a Turless Crusher Core card, when this card is played, play up to one green uh, Lakasi card for the ninja cost of two from your deck in rest mode, then shuffle your deck. And what does Lakasi do, you may ask? Um, he's got Unique, he has the combo into play, like everybody else. And then if your looter card is a Turlus Crusher Core card, when this card is played, play up to one green Raisin card, then you cost it two or more, or two or less from your deck, then shelf your deck. Draw one card, and then choose one card in your hand and discard it. So you play Raisin, he brings out Lakasi, and um, you're able to draw one, discard one. Um, but you do get to play both of them out, regardless if you play one, you play both of them. Now we've got four star ball parasitic darkness. Um, like always, this card gains dark dragon ball in all areas. Um, choose one of your cards and it gets plus 5,000 power for the battle. And then if your opponent has two or more energy and you choose one of your mono green turtles cards with an energy cost of three or four and place this card under it, choose up to one green turtles Zeno card with an energy cost of four in your deck hand and then play it on top of uh, that's like play it on top of the chosen card in active mode then shuffle your deck if you look through it so this is pretty cool i i personally think so um you're going to be able to just use a three or four turtles and then um just plop the xeno turtles on it now we've got one of the main baddies of the show the tree of might uh, when in a battle area or yeah while in a battle area this card cannot be placed in drop areas by your skills Reduce the combo card of all Turtles Crusher core in, uh, cards in your opponent's hand and battle area by one wild. And why does it say opponents? Because, auto, if all your opponents, well, actually, we're going to get to that. If all your opponent's uh, energy is mono green, uh, if this card is in your battle area at the start of your main phase, choose one card in your life and flip it face up. And if you do, your opponent adds up to one Fruit of Tree of Might from their deck to their hand and then shuffles their deck as they look through it. Then activate main. If your leader card is a Turtles Crusher card, place this card in your opponent's battle area in active mode. So what we have here is the fact that Turtles will place this there just by chilling, starting up the game. But if it ever somehow gets removed, you can play it for three and then activate main to pass it back to your opponent and they gotta get rid of it again. So that's pretty wild. And it kind of enables a lot. Tree, Fruit of the Tree of Might is nothing to scoff at. So now we got Turles, Crusher Core Commander, all right? Um, he's unique and deflect, three drop 15K. Um, choose one card in your hand and place it at the bottom of your deck. When this card is played, draw two cards, neat. And this card gains 5,000 power until the end of your opponent's turn, also neat. Flip up to one of your opponent's life face up. That's a monstrous effect. You're gonna see two cards when you get a card out of the way of your hand, you're gonna flip the life face up. Very, very strong. And he's gonna go up to a uh, 20K. Now activate battle green. If you have two or more Crusher Core in your combo area, play this card from your hand. This guy has a rival, essentially. A rival to Crusher Core. Um, that's absolutely insane. Next card, we've got a Turles Chaotic Rampage. Uh, critical and Double Strike. Um, C. That's actually really strong. EX Evolve. Two green on a Turles Zeno with an energy cost of four. When a card evolves with this card, switch this card to active mode, then your opponent chooses one card in their hand and sends their warp. Flip up two cards in their opponent's life face up. Cool. And then once per turn, when this card attacks, combo with up to one green battle card from your drop area with its skills negated for the turn. So you can't just be popping up on uh, super combos, but you can put him up pretty high for doing this critical double strike. So that's kind of nasty. Yeah, man. Now you've got Kill Driver. Activate Battle. If your leader card is a Turles Crusher Core card, flip up to one card in your opponent's life face up, then choose your leader card or battle card and it gains 10,000 power for the turn, then choose one. You can either draw a card, or if it's your turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and energy cost greater than their current energy in KO. This is a whole lot of text on a one drop, and um, this is actually a very, very solid card for the deck, I personally think. Um, I actually like that. I mean, we can flip the life, gain a thousand and draw a card or KO something. It's a very versatile card. Now we've got the missing link. Now we've got the missing link. Uh, Turles Dark Parasite. 
and uh, this guy is blocker. Uh, when this card activates its blocker skill and, or is removed from the battle area by an opponent's skill, your opponent may choose one card in their hand and discard it. If they don't, draw one card, then flip up to one card in your opponent's life face up. Uh, don't like this card that much. It's a punisher ability, and so your opponent is always going to choose you know, the, um, the best option for them, which will likely be letting you see one of their lives, but also drawing an extra card. Not really a fan of that. Um, you got Fruit of the Tree of Might. Activate battle. If your leader card is a Turles Crusher core card, all of your energy is mono green, and you float one face-up card in your opponent's life face down. Choose up to one of your leader cards or battle cards that gains 20,000 power, and if the chosen card's name is a Turles, it also gains double strike. Nutty. Now we're at the SRs. Uh, we got Turles Cosmic Rogue. Um, unique, deflect, and critical. He's a four drop. Uh, permanent, if there are three or more Turles Crusher cards in your battle area, and you have three or more energy, reduce the card in this, or reduce the cost of the card in your hand by two, so it'll come out for a whopping two energy. Um, permanent, during your turn, all uh, Turles Crusher core cards in your battle area have 10,000, or get plus 10,000 power, so he's gonna rally the troops. And then um, auto, when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. That, there's not much to say about this guy. He's a monster. Coming down for two and doing what he does, being critical, monsters. Then you've got Turles Invader of Earth. Unique, when this card is played, flip up to one card in your opponent's life face up as a one drop. And then uh, if your leader card is a Turles Crusher core card, when this card attacks, look at the top five cards from the top of your deck. Keep doing that. Keep saying top over and over again. Top. Uh, combo with up to five Turles Crusher core cards amongst them and shuffle your deck. Yep. This guy pretty vicious. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, let's hop over and see these slug cards next though. So, Lord Slug, uh, leader card. When this card attacks, you and your opponent draw one card. Most jarring little piece of text feels kind of weird. But then you gotta, if you have three or more green energy, when you activate a rejuvenate skill, draw two cards and flip this card over. Okay, kinda cool. Um, but then he has the Awaken. If your life is at four or less, you and your opponent may draw a card. Then you switch up to two of your energy to active mode. All right, I kinda dig that. Like, yes, I would rather just untap two, but if I'm going to have to choose between these new draw one, untap one leaders, or this, it's definitely gonna be this. Um, they get one card, but you draw one and untap two, and that feels phenomenal. Um, but the rest of the archetype may kind of make it not seem cool enough. His backside, Lord Slug, Rejuvenated Invader. If your opponent has seven or fewer cards in their hand, this card gains minus 5,000 power on your opponent's turn. When this card attacks, you and your opponent draw one card. Um, activate main once per turn. If your opponent has 10 or more cards in their hand, play up to one mono green slugs army card and you cost of two or less from your drop area. Okay, so you can start cheating out cards as long as your opponent is able to have a certain amount of cards in hand or more. Pretty neat. Let's see how the rest of the archetype goes. Um, we've got a vanilla 20k. This is Zayun. Yeah, Zayun. Yeah, something like that. Then you've got um, Kajuka, which is a 10k. Uh, you've got the six star parasitic ball. Um, this is going to be what takes Slug into Xeno Slug. Cool. Now we have got Angela, Invader of Earth. If your leader card is a Lord, is a Slug's army card and all of your energy is mono green, oof, rest in peace to the Lemon Line players. When this card is played from your hand, activate this skill. At the end of your turn, if you have six or fewer cards in hand, your opponent has ten or more cards in hand, draw three cards. So this is going to allow you to try to bridge that gap. But, um, I kind of like it because what this guy is going to allow you to do, um, this is when this card is played from your hand, activate this skill. Yeah, what this card is going to allow you to do is be very, very, very aggressive. They could have eight cards in hand but you can aggressively push two more cards in their hand and they're in a weird position. They either have to drop cards from their hand to not take the damage, in which case they drop cards in hand, or you are going to push cards into their hand but then spring forward three cards at the turn. Cards that you may have already pushed in their hand regardless of what deck you were playing, you were going to do it. So um, I kind of like this effect. In terms of wonkiness of giving your opponent cards, this at least allows you to springboard back into advantage. Um, now you've got Gyoshu, Invader of Earth, Super Combo, if your leader card is green, you have a green unison card in play, this is the Rejuvenate Super Combo that's going around the cycle. I'm not reading this effect again. Um, now you've got Lord Slug out of control. Um, this is a triple strike, EX Evolve for green 2. 
Um, Lord Slug Xeno Energy Cost of 4. Cool. Permanent, this card may attack cards in rest mode. Your opponent cannot attack, or while this card is in rest mode, your opponent cannot attack leader cards or unison cards. This is huge. Um, and then, when this card is removed from your battle area, by an opponent's skill, select one green Lord Slug card with an injury cost of 3 from your drop area, and then add up to one Dark Dragon Ball from your drop area to your hand. Very Majin Buu-esque effect. You're going to put down the 3 drop, you're going to get the ball back to your hand. You only need the Missing Link 4 drop, and then this guy again to start your chain anew. Um, I actually very much so like this card. Now you've got Lord Slug Conqueror Restored. This guy is a green 1 drop, unique. If your leader card is a Slug's Army card, when this card is played from your hand and your opponent, or your, you and your opponent draw one card, then at the end of the turn, your opponent chooses up to one card in their hand and places it at the bottom of their deck. Okay, so again, this is what I was kind of talking about with the archetype. I don't think this really fundamentally works against blue. However, this deck will allow you to force your opponent to draw cards. Then you can be as aggressive as you need to be with yours. And if they fall beneath how many cards that they started with, they're going to get taxed and be at a lower total than what they were. Now, granted, if you really think about it, you could have just been at five, they've been at five, you swing, they drop two cards, they turn their turn in, they drop two cards. Now, you're going to put them up at, I don't know, eight cards in hand when they were going to be at five. You push two cards out of their hand, they're at six, they drop two cards, they're still at, like, it's, it's just, it's not, it's, I get, I think, what they were doing, or maybe I don't, maybe y'all need to show me the way. If y'all have a slug deck list that's fire, help me, help me out, join the Discord, talk to me about it, because I just feel like it's super flawless, like the extra draws and the extra discards kind of just balance each other out. Um, now. Uh, activate main if your leader card is a slugs army card and your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand and uh, one or more energy choose up to one mono green slugs army with 1900 power less in your hand and play it you can't activate the main so this is or for the rest of the turn this is gonna actually cheat into play very very well and I'm actually excited to see which cards it's gonna do it best for so uh, metamacha Invader of Earth, activate main green. If your leader card is a Slugs Army card and all of your energy is mono green, and you send this card from your drop area to your warp, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then play uh, one meta token. Then you and your opponent each draw two cards at the end of the turn. Your opponent chooses up to two cards in their, or sorry, no, two cards. At the end of the turn, your opponent chooses up to two cards in their hand and place them at the bottom of their deck. You can't activate the main skill. Now this is weird. They place up to two cards. Well, I don't, I don't understand this. Like, what? I guess it's giving your opponent a chance to be over or under the threshold for your cards to work, but I don't like giving them two cards for a token. And then they get to just be like, no, I'll keep these two. Like, all right. Um, that was going to be a no for me, dog. Uh, you got Wings Invader of Earth. Permanent Bond 2. If this card is in rest mode, mono green slug army cards in your battle area can be KO'd by your opponent's skills. That's actually very, very powerful. Um, then you've got Lord Slug, Dark Parasite. He's the Xeno Slug. If your opponent has three or more energy, when this card is played, your opponent may choose one of their in unison cards and place in the owner's drop area. If they didn't, you and your opponent both draw a card. Choose all of your opponent's battle cards and KO them. Okay, there is not a single timeline where your opponent does not juke this effect. All right, so I maybe read the card again, and I just realized that if you don't have a unison, <laughs> woo, yeah. So if you don't have a unison, this is nuke your entire field. Yeah, she's one of their unison cards and plays it. If they didn't, you and your opponent draw a card, choose all of your, yeah, okay. So if you don't have a unison, this is just a board wipe. All right. All right, <laughs> that's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Um, now moving on to the SRs, we've got um, King Piccolo, Dimensional Conqueror. Uh, he's the Rejuvenate one of this one. Uh, you know what Rejuvenate does by now. Uh, your leader card has to be you know, color specific with the thing. And you remove four markers from this card. Um, you can take the top card, or you can take a card from under this card, put it into the drop zone, and then you take the top card of your deck, put it into your life. So that's pretty cool. Um, activate main, green. If your leader card is mono green and your opponent has seven or more cards in their hand, Play this card from your hand with a marker on it and you can't play unison cards for the turn. So you can play it for one instead of two and he gets that. So that's pretty cool. Then it's plus one. Activate main. Choose one card in your hand and place it under this card. You and your opponent draw one card. Then you choose it to one green battle card. Then energy cost of one. Original energy cost of one. In your hand and play it. Uh, at the end of the turn, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and place it at the bottom of the deck. So I like this one a lot. Like, this one's actually a really good plus one. Um, you feel this guy for a generation. You play a one drop, you and your opponent draw a card, and they have to give it up by the end of the turn. 
this actually is one of my favorite rejuvenate unisons. Um, now we've got Lord Slug, Monstrous Muscle, Deflect, and Double Strike. When this card is played, choose up to all of your or choose all of your opponent's battle cards, KO them, and then choose one of your opponent's unison cards. Move two markers from it. Oof. Oof. Auto, once per turn, when your opponent activates a counterattack skill, your opponent chooses six cards in their hand, discards the rest, and you and your opponent draw one card. Interesting. And you've got the three drop, Lord Slug, the Water of Plans. And let me just actually back up. Monster's Muscle Lord Slug is a 30k, alright? Now, Lord Slug, Thwarter of Plans, Deflect, Bond 2. If the leader card is Slug's army and your opponent uses the card in a combo, you may place the card in the owner's drop area. If you do, you and your opponent draw one card, then you negate this skill for the turn. Cool. Selective combo breaker. Um, then, auto, when this card is removed from your battle area, find an opponent's skill or KO'd. If your opponent has seven or more cards in hand, play up to one green Lord Slug's, or Slug's army card within your cost of one from your drop area. Very neato. So those are the green cards. We're gonna go deeper into the green cards to see how I feel about them. Um, we're gonna dive into different archetypes. Turles and Lord Slug seem like they have some really interesting cards. Just that Lord Slug seems like it's either impossible to play or just maybe not smooth brain playable. Um, or just impossible because giving your opponent's cards is bad. Um, so, 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 I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the green reveal and I will see you guys the next time inside of Join Universe X. Remember to look at uh, Spiral Molly Graphics contest in the description. Join the Discord if you want to chat with the homies and I will see you later.